Hey everybody, Edo here, and the good folks at Madagot Games has sent me a copy of Captain Sonar. And Captain Sonar uh, has received a lot of hype, and this is a real-time, team-based battleship game, and it delivers for sure, and in fun and interesting ways. It's two to eight, two is a little rough, eight works, you can handle six, um, in some ways, um, almost six almost is ideal uh, for my case some people will feel differently but i think um some ro one, couple roles can be merged together but anyway you have teams i'll just be talking about it on the four by four side just for the simplicity's sake but there are these gigantic awesome dividers super slick super awesome two of them this is a heavy game that are going to go between you and the enemy and what you're going to be doing in this game is board between us you have one of these, which I almost threw out when I first opened it. I opened it, uh, dry erase, and then some maps. And there's like a you can play turn-based if you want. And there's turn-based maps, and then there's different maps you can choose for um, this alpha, uh, 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 alpha beta maps for um, both sides that are, you know have different island structures. But we're two subs going at it, and the objective of the game is to knock out the other sub with torpedoes and mines and what have you. So, in the game, there are four roles. You have the captain. The captain of the ship is going to be calling out the direction you are heading uh, in your submarine. So, essentially, the only information the other team has, I mean, there's different abilities that it gives it to you, but a lot of it is what the other team is saying and them following the commands and, and being accurate in what they're saying. So, you know, a lot of this relies on both teams playing well or playing clearly, um, but you know, if you need to, you can always slow things down and sort of back up and say, like, hold on a second. But um, for the most part, uh, starting turn base once is good and then getting into the real-time fun of it. But so the captain is going to, you're going to, you know, start with a, you know, your ship somewhere. I don't want to do it on the, uh, uh, on the uh, 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 start with your ship somewhere, and you're going to be moving around north, south, east, head east, head west, and, you know. Now, while that's happening, um, you have the radio operator who is listening to the other team and trying to track where they are. This is where the sheet comes in, and this is awesome. You know, as they're calling out directions, you're going to be marking them on the sheet. So uh, we know they're in Sector 5. Uh, they've moved uh, north, 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 just for the sake of the... So I don't know where they start, but they've moved 1, 2, 3, 4 north. Well, if I know they're in Sector 5, and they've moved north four times, well, actually, they can't be there, right? Because if you hit an you can't hit an island. You, they can't be there. So we know they're here or on the other side, right? So that's a big deal. So this player is tracking the other players, and this is a super important role because you got to shoot torpedoes. The other two roles are pretty simple. The first mate, every time you move, is charging different things. The drone, the mine, the torpedo, sonar silence and um, scenario for, for the different, uh, later on uh, maps have scenarios, but um, red is attack, green is um, uh, 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 locate, find the drone and the sonar, and, and uh, yellow is usually get away or, or the scenario with silence. You get to move without them knowing where you're going or knowing where you're going. Um, so this person's charging, and then you have the engineer, and the engineer is probably the most puzzly move, but each time somebody moves in a direction, you have to cross off one of these um, et, uh, segments. And as you cross them off, they don't function anymore. Um, and, okay, so as you cross them off, they don't function. So that we might be ready to fire. Like, the captain's like, can we fire a torpedo? Um, then, you know, the first mate will be like, we're ready. But the engineer will be like, they're offline. And um, so there's this thing with these tracks where they can auto-heal. Or if they don't, you have this thing where all each player has to outline a piece of the sub, like walk across it and sign it to, before your, your, your ship is ready again. You have to pass it down and then confirm with the other team. Okay, It's madness. The thing to me that makes this game stand out from the madness are a few things. One, and like maybe I didn't do enough sub tracking in, in high school, but the whole... Uh, the whole working on a piece of paper above the paper, moving it around to see if it doesn't hit and, and troubleshooting where it is, that's super cool. That is a super cool component to it. 
And then the, you know, understanding what move to, to you know, again, to the, the, the drone will tell you the, the uh, sector they're in, if you, if you, if you, you are they in the sector, um, and sonar will give you the sort of one positive ro roll column or sector, you get a, they can tell you a truth and a lie. And when do you use it and all that kind of stuff. How to drop torpedoes. There, there's some thinking here, um, but usually the captain does that thinking a little bit. I mean, it's a it depends on your group, right? This is a group game. But here, there's a fun little puzzle element about keeping things alive, talking about it, saying, hey, captain, can you go west before going east? Or, you know, whatever. And you can't retract on your seaweed. Can you go south before you go west? Um, and it works. This worked with, it, took, it, it, it takes a little to get used to the pace, but honestly, this worked with non-gamers. Um, it, 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 once you explain a role and people sort of get it, they get it. I might put the gamiest person on, on engineer because there's a little bit more going on over there, but um, otherwise uh, absolutely delivers a lot of fun and feels unique and different and, and super cool. So this one's recommended. You need the, the, you need the space in the group for it, but if somebody asks you to play or has a table, uh, do check it out. Uh, know your teams, but it is it, it is cool, frantic, fun, and it reminds me a lot of Space Cadets Dice Duel, except it doesn't have dice. And I actually, I was sort of expecting, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting the real time that they did here, and I really liked it. So anyway, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.